Now, it seems the digital age is getting somewhat younger at a school in Milton Keynes. It's actually the three-year-olds who are leading the revolution. But staff at the Weber Independent School say pupils will benefit from using iPads alongside more traditional forms of learning, as Joe Black reports. Today, children, we're going to look at our sounds. So who can find on their board the sound ah? They're lighter than textbooks and even more high-tech than interactive whiteboards. Well done. It was only a matter of time, but now we've got tablets for toddlers. I did it. Are you ready? And according to the experts, this is 21st century learning. We've seen that there are things that children pick up quicker, more easily, and the excitement of learning as well. I've never known a student take a maths book home and have the family fight over using the maths textbook when if, if you see children with iPads, they all want to have a go. It's very engaging. It's fun, it's creative. All the children say all they're doing is playing. We know the learning behind that. Um, and you can do anything, like for example, the children are using how to play the piano. It's all the different experiences that you can give a child in one application, which is amazing. That's it, we've got a magic writing finger. While Art many young children are learning to hold a pencil, these little ones are now practicing writing letters on their iPads. I did it already. I did it already, see? Today you're going to be looking at a structure called the synapse. And it's not just the young ones. Foreign students use their devices to translate certain words during class. What sound have you just read? Ah. Ah. The school says these tablets won't replace traditional reading and writing methods. These sorts of skills live on, even in a virtual world. But if students get too used to these gadgets, it could turn out to be a very expensive Christmas. Should we go for lunch? Yeah! yeah. Joe Black, BBC Look East. Well, still to come, we're live at...